We're going to show you some tips and techniques using realistic water and water effects. I'm here with Matt today. Matt, how you doing? Good. And Matt's going to be the one showing us how to do these tips and techniques. So Matt, whenever you're ready, take it away. Okay, Trevor, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and work on some of our uh, laying down some water here in a river. We got a pond. We're going to make a little swampy area here, okay? We're going to focus on using some darker paints to show the depths and uh, give you some more shallow areas on your water layouts right, as yeah, well. Excellent. Okay. Now on the one here on the left closest to you, you can see I've used a dark in the middle. Okay. And then I tapered that off to the edge and that's going to give you the illusion of a little bit shallower on the edges as it gets deeper in the middle. Now the one I'm working on here, we're going to go ahead and completely paint that whole thing in. And this is nothing but uh, with a Woodland Scenics uh, water undercoat right out of the bottle, 100%. And that'll give the illusion of a nice deep marsh once it's complete, okay? All right, you can automatically tell that that dark, that dark paint makes it look like it's deep. Just seems like it's kind of falling off there. That looks yep. good. Absolutely. Now, another uh, little tip for you is go ahead and run a little bead of glue around the outside edges of these. Okay. So when you add the water, it won't bleed into your layout. Okay, okay. so it just kind of keeps that realistic water in there and keeps it from bleeding into your grass area. Absolutely. Excellent. Okay, now in the river, we've already gone ahead and used that painting technique as well. It's going to give you some variations in depth. I'm going to go ahead and add my realistic water. Go ahead and add a thin coat to that. You can okay. layer it up if you like, but this is going to be about an eighth of an inch thick. Spread that out to the outside edges. And again, that glue is going to keep that from bleeding out. And it's a little bit foggy now, but if you let that dry for 24 hours, you're going to have a nice clear layout in the morning. Okay, and then you can go ahead and add some effects after that. All See right. how simple that was? That was nice and easy. That's okay. how I like to keep it. Good. Let's move on. On this next layout, it's the same layout. Um, but we went ahead and let it dry overnight. Okay, it's a nice glossy look. Looks like Looks wet really to the good. touch, yeah, doesn't it? Yeah. Okay. Now this one here, we're going to go ahead and add some features to it. We're going to go ahead and put a ripple in there. All okay? right. Now how you make a ripple is you use the same realistic water, put it in a little squeeze bottle. All right. Go ahead and squeeze out some puddles, just like I've done here. All right. Let them thin out, and then go ahead and dry those for 24 hours. And then on top of that, you can go ahead and add some swirling effect to it. And then again, let that dry completely before scraping that off All and right. adding it to your layout. This one here is completely dry. Put a little bit of realistic water on the back of that. Don't get too crazy. Go ahead and add that to your layout. All right, you can see immediately a bonds that to That realistic it. water makes it bond to the, the realistic water you've already poured down, right? And, and bonds to it. It helps all the air get out from underneath oh, it as okay. well. Okay? All right. Excellent. And nice that, and easy. As that dries, it'll just you know, look like it's a ripple in your, in your right. layout here. This one here, we've added some Woodland Scenics rocks to it. Okay, now we're, what we want to do is add a little bit of current to this. And we're using a, a water effects product sold by Woodland Scenics and you just go ahead and squirt that behind your rocks. And you can see this stuff is a little bit thicker than your realistic water, correct? It's a lot thicker so you have a lot more time to work with it and you can do a lot more stuff with it. Okay, Excellent. you can make waterfalls, current, you know, whatever it is you want to do to your layout, you can do it with the water effects. And I can okay. see you're just kind of going natural with that, just wherever those lines go. Exactly. Yeah, kind of... Use your brush, get creative, have a good time with it. And this will dry completely clear, just like your realistic water will, Trevor. But All right. feel free to add a little bit of white paint to that. Maybe there's a second time around, you put a little white paint in that, and you can put some foam or wherever you want to put some splashes around your rocks. All That'll right. be a this good is nice. It's to kind do of just way. creating that movement of water exactly. through those rocks. Exactly. Excellent. So let's move on down and look at the final product. Okay, now this pond here, you can see this goes from a nice uh, deeper area up to a, where it's all dried Shadow out bank. on the edge. We like went ahead and landscaped it appropriately for that. This one's a nice, deeper, wetter, marshy area. Here's your ripples we talked about. Okay, we went ahead and landscaped that with a lot of green, yeah, a definitely. lot of lush vegetation that kind of matches the area, okay? Now the final one here is our river, and you can see how that worked out. Looks really I good. I did go back over it, add a little bit of paint to that, mix it with my water effects to give it a lot more texture to it. Now the final step here on this rock here that we made, I want to have a little bit of water seepage out of that, so I'm just going to highlight some of these cracks here. When this is just nothing but Woodland Scenics diluted black paint with water. And we just put a little bit of black in there, and that's going to help just highlight some of those areas, okay? And then the last step would be to use that same uh, realistic water and just let that drizzle right on down your rocks. And then in the morning, that'll be nice and shiny and nice and wet, just like a, a seeping rock would be, okay? All right. And we'll go ahead and cap that all off with realistic trees. These are Woodland Scenic Classics. The great thing about this, this is all done with Woodland Scenic products. Yeah, and it's all fail safe. Anybody can do it. This didn't take but another couple hours to do all three of them, as a matter of fact. So that's all your right. final product. I don't know about you, Matt, but after looking at all this water, I'm ready to go take a swim. Sounds good. Hey, thanks for showing up these tips and techniques.